Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nadira Binti Zakefali and my metric number is A182497. This is my insect collection video. Enjoy! I have been collecting insect from three locations. Firstly, from Taman Paku Pakis University Kebangsaan Malaysia, then around my house at Pesada Muni Bandar Baru and Stack, and lastly at Kota Seri Emas Lake Park. I started my collection from 30 December 2021 until 7 February 2022. I use both active and passive collecting method. As for active method, I use sweeping net and sometimes I hand pick the collecterian species. After that, I will put it inside Ziploc plastic bag for temporary storage. For passive method, I set pit for trap and yellow pantry around my father's garden. But unfortunately, my pit for trap is ineffective because I have only found snail inside it. However, the yellow pantry is a success. I got a few insect species such as Lepidoptera and Diptera from it. Next, I use alcohol via with 70% concentration to kill and preserve the insect before I start pinning them. Sometimes, I put them inside the freezer and transfer it to alcohol via after they die. Regrettably, I left the insect longer than I should inside the alcohol via until they all turn brown. Therefore, some of my insect collection are brown colored unnaturally. Then, for the drying step, I set them under the sun for several hours and if the weather is not sunny enough, I will use hair dryer to dry them for a couple minutes. The tools I use for insect pinning are modified polystyrene board made into pinning board and spreading board for Lepidoptera and Odonata species, insect pin size 1 and 2, pairs of tweezers for handling and picking them up, and lastly, plastic mounting sheet used together with regular pin for spreading the wing insect species. I also made my own rehydrating chamber for dehydrated insects before spreading them. Firstly, moisten a paper towel with hot water, leave only a little hot water on the bottom of the container, place the butterfly or moth on top of this layer, close the lid tightly and leave undisturbed for several minutes. The moisture and heat from the paper towels will create humidity inside of the closed container that will rehydrate the insects and allow their limbs to become soft and playable again. These are my collected species with a total of 56 insects. On 30 December 2021, I went to UKM because there was a camp with my scout unit. During the free time, I asked other classmates which stay in college if they want to collect insects together at Taman Paku Pakis. And few of them said yes. So, I went with Farah, Chiahui and Fatin to Taman Paku Pakis with Chiahui's car. We have at least conquered the area as we have been searching non-stop until our stomach are begging for food. I really enjoy my time there and special thanks to Farah, Chahu and Fatin for willing to accompany me even though it was a sudden request. Thank you so much. Whenever I don't have class during the day, I will go out with my nephews to catch insect around our residential area at Pesada Muni Bandar Baru and Stack. With them around, I couldn't take many pictures as I need to watch them continuously before they injure themselves. Even though it was hard and hectic, I love spending time with them. If not, I will only stay in my bedroom during class lecture or doing my assignment. It was good to went out once in a while. On 7 February, I catch the largest grasshopper I have seen. 
It was during trap checking that I noticed it perched on the stool on the garden. I rushed inside to take my net to catch it, but it was hard to put it inside the ziplock as it kept moving. After a few minutes, I successfully did it while my entire family watched me screaming and freak out by its struggle during the process. Lastly, on 6 January 2022, I went to Kotasrimas Lake Park with my brother and nephew. But it was raining, so I went alone searching for insects while they stayed in the car. There are abundance of Odonata and Orthoptera species here and I have befriended one. Unfortunately, I can't stay too long because the rain got heavy by times. However, it was still a great time to walk around the lake searching for insects while people wonder what I'm doing in the middle of the rain. This is me holding my insect collection box. And before I stop here, I hope you guys watching and my fellow classmates will appreciate insects more and don't ignore their importance in our ecosystem. Even though they are small, they make the biggest impact. Here, I list three ways you guys can do to serve them. Firstly, preserving their habitat. This can be done by leaving their habitat left untouched anytime you stumble across them. This means not polluting river, cutting down trees, burning the forest, any place that can become their home need to be protected. Instead, you can plant more trees for them to call home. Next, use cultural control and mechanical methods such as multi-cropping, crop rotation, barrier, pruning and many others to decrease the pest problem in your garden or crop plantation. Not only it is low in cost, its effect on non-target insects are also low. So beneficial insects are safe from it. And lastly, no toxicity or residue problems that can affect other animals. But if you must use insecticide, use botanical insecticide such as neem oil. It was an insect toxin derived from plant and have quick reaction on target pests. It also have a broad spectrum action so it can affect many types of pests. And lastly, the most important is it do not persist in environment. With that, it's the end of my insect collection video. Thanks for watching and special thanks to my lecturer Dr. Salma, Dr. Wee and Dr. Ispa for teaching us about entomology and fostering love of insect within us. Thank you so much. See you next time.